Charles Whitfield grew up in Greensboro, North Carolina, dreaming of being a professional basketball star like his hero, Michael Jordan. In 1987, he entered North Carolina Central University in Durham, where he played basketball and graduated in 1991. After college, Whitfield worked for Norwest Financial, a banking and financial company, but he had a dream of starting a record label. That dream started when Whitfield worked at the CD Superstore in Durham. He acquired a large collection of CDs with a wide variety of music and happened to notice on the Motown Mojazz label the name of Steve McKeever. Whitfield, through Chris Bragg, a family friend and Motown employee, contacted McKeever, then borrowed money from his parents to fly to Los Angeles and met with McKeever, who was working to find investors for his new independent label, Hidden Beach Recordings. Whitfield's older brother, Fred, a gifted basketball player at Campbell University, had met Michael Jordan at Campbell University's camp in Bowie's Creek, North Carolina, where Fred was a counselor. Through Fred, Charles met Jordan at Campbell's basketball camp, and years later, Charles and Fred introduced Steve McKeever to Jordan, who agreed to invest in Hidden Beach Recordings. In November 1998, Hidden Beach Recordings began specializing in urban alternative, R&B, soul inspirational and contemporary jazz genres. It is distributed by the Universal Music Group, the largest recording corporation in the world. When it started, Hidden Beach had a one-room office in Santa Monica, California with two employees. Charles Whitfield began as a paid intern at Hidden Beach, handling production and artist relations, then joined the label to manage the company's relationship with Epic Records, their initial distributor. The first artist signed to Hidden Beach was Jill Scott, whose debut release, Who Is Jill Scott? Words and Sounds, Volume 1, sold 2.4 million units and was nominated for three Grammys, including Best New Artist. Woke up this morning. She would go on to release two other studio releases and several live projects as well. In addition, she has won two Grammy Awards along with countless nominations she has received. Hidden Beach was selected to release Yes We Can, Voices of a Grassroots Movement, a compilation CD whose proceeds benefited the Barack Obama campaign for president. Artists on that CD included Kanye West, Stevie Wonder, and Sheryl Crow. It was released in September 2008. Additional artists on the Hidden Beach record label have included B.B. Winans, Brenda Russell, Darius Rucker, Al B. Shore, husband and wife singing duo Kendrick the Family Soul, saxophonist Mike Phillips, and trombonist Jeff Bradshaw. In addition to Hidden Beach Recordings, Charles was one of the investors in the Uptown Charlotte Jazz Fest that started in 2010, and in 2015 the name changed to the Queen City Jazz Fest. He also worked for the Beasley Media Group radio cluster in Charlotte from 2012 until late last year. He now is a community relations manager for Lowe's Companies, Inc. Dreams really can come true. Just ask Charles Whitfield. He is not a musician, but he's been on the business side for over 20 years, and he has a few platinum and gold records hanging on his wall as a testament to his hard work in the music business. He'd like to thank all of his family and friends for their continued support over the years. I want to take a moment to congratulate one of our Lowe's leaders, Charles Woodfield, who's part of the 2020 induction class. I met Charles many years ago when he was in the music industry and I watched him tirelessly work in this industry that he loves so much. And I'm so happy that he's being honored in the state that he grew up in. Charles, to you, congratulations on this outstanding honor. It is well deserved. I know your passion, your commitment to this industry, and I know so many people that you've helped to change their lives because of your love for the music industry. We're very proud of you at Lowe's, and I hope you enjoy this night because you've earned it. First and foremost, I'd like to congratulate all the inductees and the honorees for the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame, the 2020 class, but especially my man, Charles Whitfield. Yeah, that's my dude right there. We worked together quite a bit over the years, and I look forward to doing more in the future. Wish I could be there up close and personal, but uh, everybody ain't smart like you, Charles, so, you know, I have to go out and work. You know, some of us really have to work. Ain't nobody ever given me nothing but a hard time. I to earn mine like you did yours. Congratulations, my man, and to all the honorees and inductees for the 2020 class of the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame. Thank you to all of you 
who came tonight to celebrate these amazing men in music. Charles Whitfield, Jermaine Dupree, and Michael Malden. I'm so honored to be here to celebrate you all. Uh, I am a 2017 Hall of Famer, North Carolina Music Hall of Fame. Um, without further ado, let's celebrate these men and give them their flowers while they're here. God bless you and have an amazing evening. Charles Whitfield, man, congratulations, man. I am so proud. I'm happy to be a part of this journey with you. Um, from the days of Hidden Beach, um, even up until now, man, I am um, proud. I knew a day like this would happen because of your um, ability to connect relationships, um, tireless work ethic, and um, the ability to bring a plan together musically. And in this business, you need all three of those hats, man. So I cannot um, thank you enough for what you've done my career, um, the whole crew at Hidden Beach, um, and I look forward, and, um, there's more gas in the tank, so I really look forward to um, what's next for you. I am here to congratulate and celebrate my dear friend Charles Whitfield on his induction into the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame. I'm so grateful for the amazing impact that he has had on my career and so many others, Charles. I just wanna say congratulations to you, friend, and job well done. Take care, and I hope to see you real soon. Go Charles, go Charles, go Charles. Unfortunately, I can't be there tonight. I wish I could be there to support my friend Charles Whitfield and all the other honorees, Jermaine Dupree and others, as they go into the North Carolina Music Hall of Fame. A well-deserved honor. I wanna thank Charles for giving me an opportunity to be his partner, and, and along with Steve McKeever and Hidden Beach Records. We had a fun time. We were able to do some real fun things. And I'm glad you're, you have been honored in this manner, and I wish you nothing but success. And once again, I'm sorry I cannot be there, but Please enjoy your night. Take care.